Do you know how to get answers from a URL with just one click? And how to talk with PDFs to get insights, to learn something from PDFs or URLs, anything. So in this video, I'm explaining you all of this. Hi guys, welcome to Freebird's Crew and welcome to the sixth part of Learn Rag from Scratch series in which I am teaching you Rag from basics to advanced with projects. So in this video, we'll do two projects. Our first project is chat with URLs in which you will learn how to talk with uh, URLs, the, all the information inside the URL, how to fetch that and how to learn from the URL by question answering. And second is chat with PDF documents in which to do the same, just you have to load the PDF documents into the app and you can start asking questions. Okay. So if you are very new to RAG, don't worry, we'll walk through everything step by step. So let's get started. Okay. So just before deep dive into the code, let me give you a brief about RAG. RAG is a retrieval argument generation. It is a technique that combines the power of two AI processes. First is retrieval. That means searching for the relevant documents or pieces of information based on the user prompt. Second is generation. Generation means to generate the meaningful, contextually accurate answers by using a generative AI or large language model. So basically, we retrieve information from a database or a vector store and then use that information to generate the answers by a LLM. This is what makes RAG powerful. It combines retrieval and generations, ensuring that the model should give the accurate and context specific responses. Okay. And if you want to know more about RAG, you can watch my previous four videos in which I teach all about RAG, its components, its architecture as well. Okay, so let me give you the project overview here with problem statement. Our first project is chat with URLs. So we need to get data from a URL, process it and then save it as embeddings in our vector DB. And here we use FAS as a vector DB which is made by Facebook and then using the RAG chain to get the response from the vector DB based on the user prompt and then pass it to the large language model as a prompt and a context to get the final response. And here we use Google Gemini Pro 1.5 large language model along with the Google Generative AI embeddings. So let's create this application. So I hope you guys see my screen. So first we need to create a Python environment here. We use Anaconda to create an environment with Python 3.9. 3.9 is necessary to install the Google Generative AI embeddings. So we create it, we activate it as well. Okay, once it's done, we just need to uh, run the application. So before running the application, let me show you how the code works. Okay, first we need to import all the necessary libraries here. We need a streamlet to make a streamlet app. And then we use the lang chain for the recursive text splitter. And then we need the embedding model here. We need the our vector DB. We need the chat Google generative AI function to load the Gemini Pro model. We need the lang QA chain along with the prompt template. Everything we need here. And then we make an interactive QA app. This is just for the style. Let's go into the main code here. First, we need to enter the Google API key that you can easily get from the uh, simple, uh, just go to the Google type studio AI. And then you go to this Google AI studio. And here you just need to go get API key and just create, a, create your own API key and pass it there. That's it. Okay. And uh, now, then you pass it to the Google API key environment variable here. Then when you go to the URL, you pass the URL into this function. Let me just teach it. It is URL function. Okay. And then you pass the URL here. It read the URL, it load it, and it read all the text from that URL page and make it a text variable. So you're all text of that URL now into this single variable. You pass this single variable, a single text into the chunks function. This chunks function will do one thing. It will uh, use the recursive text splitter to chunk it and then make a uh, chunks of this whole text because chunking is required to store into the vector db because that's what make rag so powerful okay you can get the context based on the chunks and then you store your this uh, text splits into the vector store here you first load the google generative AI embeddings and then the fast uh, your vector db and store all the text chunks into here with the embedding model and save this uh, vector store as a fast index it is stored right here with that okay in the fast index folder Got it? And then you need to pass the URL. 
we we just uh, create a text input here you can pass a url here okay when you pass a url here it checks if the api key is present if api key is present it start the application this uh, kind of function we load our prompt al along with our gemini pro model with the prompt as well and build a load qa chain this qa chain will be able to answer all your questions and this prompt will be answering that okay so first we just ask a question we enter the question here and then this whole code will run it will do the step by step work first it uh, uh, get the url make text then it goes the text to chunks then vector db then load the context and after getting the context it uh, get the response and the response is shown on the screen okay this is how this whole app works let me show you how this completely uh, run okay we just need to write here streamlit run uh, url dot pi as you see this app runs here okay we just need to uh, write a link here just go to this this is the dan brown link and just write down here okay and we also need to uh, copy paste the google api key here as well okay so just place the key here there i am placing key right here okay the key is right here and now i need to ask a question okay so let's ask a question about dan brown let's ask about uh, dan brown books name dan brown books give all names let's take all names of names of dan brown books okay let's click on get answer he started searching for it and it make the vector db and also use the gemini pro model to get the answer okay it will work really fast for that as compared to your hugging face models as you see all the books are right down here in the very neated clean format okay you can also some other things like the age of dan brown okay just run it and see that what it comes it comes 60 years old let's compare it and write down his c60 years old it is cracked as such okay so that's how you can like chat with urls you can learn something from that okay let's see another question here let uh, about the da vinci code let's see what it gives us about the da vinci code because that's a book uh, written by the dan brown uh, let's see what it gives it gives the short summary of the uh, da vinci code book here so now as you guys know that how to create this app and how this app works what, what is the behind working and architecture so i hope you would create this app on your own with multiple added features as well so now let's go to our next project so our second app is called chat with pdf so in in which uh, we need to upload some kind of a pdf to our app that it will read extract the text and it will save it into the vector db that is faz using the embedding model okay and then we use the rag chain to get the response from the vector db based on the our query or prompt to pass it to the llm to get the final response that's how it will work the difference between this project is we need to process the pdf here in the past we were processing just a url okay and in the same way we are using the google gemini pro 1.5 llm with the google generative ai embeddings as well okay so let's create this application as well so as you see my screen here that uh, this is the app in our past we create the environment so in the same environment we are uh, building this app and we are running this app as well so this app name is pdf qa app we just style our uh, streamlit application here the first thing is the all the code is just be the same we just need to uh, try that how to read pdf and how to extract its text here as well okay that can be done from this function we use the pdf reader function that pdf reader function comes from the pi pdf2 library here and that library you can easily install if you just write down as pip install pi pdf2 that's it okay and uh, when you install it you just need to uh, put your file in this function it will read it and then all the pdf pages you need to extract the text as well for that you need to follow this function for page in pdf reader dot pages and page extract text you can put all the text into a one single variable so that it can be easy to chunk as well and same thing we do here we just make this uh, a single text variable of all the pdf documents here as well and then 
pass it into the recursive text splitter and then store it, store it into the FAS index along with the Google generative AI embeddings as well. Okay, and then it is our same function of the Gemini Pro. Okay, and then we check if the file is uploaded here and then we extract the text, make chunks, store into the DB and then get our context here and then put the answer. Okay, that all things we do here. Okay, so now let's run this app. Okay, just we just do here as streamlit run PDF chat dot pi. You see this app started running here. Okay, first we need to uh, enter the key here. Okay, uh, let me just enter the key and then we need to upload the PDF file here. Just take this agent's research paper that I have. I pass it down here and then I need to ask a question. I ask the question that what are agents and how they work. Let's put it like that. And now it is ask press this key to answer. Run. Let's see how it gives the answer of that question by analyzing this PDF document. Okay. It will also run very, very fast. As you see, the answer write down comes here. Agents are autonomous theory programs that run behalf of students. That's all the definitions or the workings are here. That's how you can talk with the uh, PDF documents as well. Okay. So I hope you guys know that how to build these kind of apps with the uh, generative AI models or the rag chain as well. So, so that your LLMs are always up to date. They are not stuck on the training data as well. Okay. And uh, next video will make a Gen AI enabled anime and manga chatbot that helps you to discuss your fan theories with correct facts and information along with ask questions about characters and get recommendations based on the anime you like and anime you want. Okay, so this, this is really a great application for the anime fans. So please support and will I, I will upload this project very, very soon. Okay, and if you want to learn about generative AI, prompt engineering, machine learning, or data science, you can watch my videos on YouTube and also read my blogs on Medium. We'll meet in our next video. Thank you guys. Thank you so much.